All right, folks, new game store, first look. Dang, they are stocked with the Wii right out front. Folks, I'm here today at Game Hub Knoxville, my friend's brand new video game store that's only been open for a week and hasn't even had its grand opening yet. Tons of PS2 back there, the glass case games. Got some high dollar games up here in the glass case. Oh, dang, is that a blue PS3? And folks, I'm on a mission today to buy as much inventory as I possibly can for my online store, which is why I have a couple of these blue bulk bags with me today. And don't tell Ryan, but I'm hoping to spend at least $1,000 today to give them a little bit of seed money for their new store and also give myself a good amount of Christmas inventory. For example, I know Black Label Need for Speed goes for like 22 after fees for me on Amazon. They've got it priced here for 20 bucks. So if we could get these for 15 a piece, could be a win-win. All right, Ryan, what would you say to 15 a piece for these? We could definitely do that. All right, <laughs> folks, that is how you get the ball rolling. $45 into the blue bag. Folks, I have to say I'm really excited about this huge GameCube section here because I will say I normally do very well on Amazon with GameCube games. I'm gonna save that for last though, just in case we need it. Ooh, looks like a good section to start with might be the PS Vita games because we should be able to knock these out fairly quick. Now what I'm looking for here is games that I don't need that much of a discount but can still make some money. For example, this Vita Dungeon Hunter Alliance is priced at 20. I can only get 14 after fees. So to make my margins, I would have to offer less than half price. That's just not something I wanna do. However, Mod Nation Racers, I know I've been able to get 18 for after fees and it's priced at 15. So if Ryan would take say 10 bucks, it'd be a win-win. What do you say, Ryan, 10 bucks for this guy? I can do that. All right. Folks, I just got done going through this nice little PSP section right here, and I did come out with a few gems that I only would need five bucks off a piece on in order for them all to be worth it. I also just started making my way through this uh, original PlayStation section and check out all the gems that I found that are really close to my margins already. These older games, when they are complete with the case and manual, can do really well for me on Amazon. Oh my gosh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, absolute classic. All right, folks, I would say that's a, oh crap. <laughs> that's a sizable little stack of Sony games right there. Let's see if we can haggle our way to profit on these. All right, so I'm pretty close on all these. I could be at 10 bucks. We'll do it. 10 bucks? Yeah. 10 bucks? Yeah. 15 bucks? Yeah. 15 bucks? Yeah. It'd be weird if he didn't say yes to this one after saying yes to this one. Mega Man was the most expensive one. I could be at 30 for that. That's just the disc only, just so you know. Yeah, I know. The This is a replacement art, in fact. But I think I can still do okay with it on Amazon disc Yeah, only. we'll do that. Okay. Tetris, I could do seven. Yeah. Both of the Tiny Tanks, I could do 12 a piece. We could do that. Okay. The Tony Hawks, I could do six a piece. That will work. 15 each for Toy Story 2. Yeah. You could do 15 and 15. Yeah, let's do it. Folks, that is a successful negotiation right there. Holy cow. They've got like seven bins here of $1 games. If you guys are on a budget, this could be a good place to come. Unfortunately, normally I don't really mess a ton with the super low dollar stuff because after the fees I have to pay on most of this stuff, I'd honestly be losing money, but still cool to see. And now folks comes the less logical part of the show where I frantically run around the store and buy stuff for giveaways for you guys. Ooh, Maximo, why not? Mortal Kombat, don't mind if I do. Uh, Midway Arcade Treasures, that sounds fun. Folks, you guys have been supporting our whatnot auctions where we sell off stuff that I buy in a bunch of these videos like crazy. Ooh, an Xbox 360 controller? That sounds good too. So on our stream this upcoming Monday, we're doing a whole bunch of giveaways as a way of saying thank you, okay, what? Call of Duty 3, sure. You know what, I'm feeling spicy. Let's do a PS2 as well. It's been a blast goofing around with you guys and everyone's invited to the Monopoly. <laughs> But yeah, guys, Monday afternoon at three o'clock, it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna be giving away a bunch of stuff on our WhatNot stream. The link to it is going to be in the description as usual. And there's one more thing that I'm super excited to show you guys. My BB. Cause folks, we are going to have my single favorite WhatNot product ever, Pokemon plushes, but not just any Pokemon. We've got reseller Pikachu, reseller Squirtle, reseller Charizard, reseller Rayquazard, which isn't even a thing, but we're gonna have them anyway. We're gonna be giving away a couple of these bad boys, but even if you don't win one, we'll have other ones available for purchase. And if you get WhatNot for the first time with the link in the description, you'll get $10 off of your purchase as well. So I think I speak for the whole gang when I say, I hope I see all of you guys 
guys there on Monday, and thanks a bunch to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. And folks, actually, now that I'm out at the car, I'm remembering, I just did a deal with a viewer this morning where I bought all of this stuff, which included some, like, lower dollar games that I really won't be able to sell very well on eBay, so I'm thinking I may as well just sort them out now and just go ahead and use them for trade credit, see how much Ryan can give me for them, because, like, this is the kind of stuff that he can do fairly well with, but that, like, after fees and stuff on Amazon, I'm really not going to make almost anything. All right, Ryan, I know I said I didn't have any trade-in, but I actually do have a little <laughs> bit, of, a little stack here for you. Oh, geez, calculate this a little bit. I'm going to go take a look at the PS4 section, and you can hit me with a number. Also, I've got 325 bucks worth of stuff here. What would you want to be at for this? How about 230 230 That sounds awesome. Thank you, man. All right, so you said you could offer on this stack, but not this one. Is that right? That's correct. Okay, so hit me with the number for the good stack. $20. $20. All right, folks, I couldn't have expected much more than that. So yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. So folks, I just got done looking through the PS4 section with more recent gen stuff. I really try to stick to like higher dollar games. So really the only one that I found was, believe it or not, Skylander's Trap Team. Marked at 45, but you can see on Amazon, I'm probably looking at 56 after fees. So I wouldn't have to have a ton off of this to make at least a little bit. What would you say to 35 for Skylanders? Which is a good deal. It's likely the kind of thing that would take a while to sell in store. So I think this was a good buy. Aw, oh, people. What do I keep saying? What do I keep saying about not sleeping on accessories? Ryan, how much are PS3 navigation controllers? 10 bucks. That sounds good with me. I won't haggle you on that. I'm honestly very intrigued by some of these interesting PS3 controller colors as well. Ryan, how much are PS3 controllers? 40, you said. I think I'd probably be a little bit far off on those. Caleb sent me this video and it had no audio. My guess is that he is telling all of you to pray to our Lord and save your Mr. Krabs. Uh-oh, there's Barnyard again. Let's see, okay, it's complete and yep, it's still going for too much money. Ooh, got another one too. Why do I buy so many copies of this game from Ryan? It makes no sense. 15 a piece, okay, on these guys? That'd be great. Alrighty. Also, this Street 2 disc was a little bit suspect as well, but if we could get this looking good, I could do 20 on this guy. Who and folks, the moment of truth on this. Uh, yeah, that, that looks good enough to take a risk on, I'd say. Other than that, I'm not finding a ton in the PS2 section. It's a good amount of like kind of lower dollar titles that I can't do too much with, but I'm gonna head over to the Nintendo cartridges over here and I'm optimistic we'll turn things around. Mm, yep, looks like we have some potential on that one. That'll be our yes pile. I'm just gonna scan through the rest of these as quick as I can. All right, got a nice little handful of uh, N64 games here. Beetle Racing, WrestleMania. For some reason, two different prices on Blast Core. Was gonna ask about that, and then Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Does five bucks off a piece on these work for you? That'll work. Awesome. And then for this big old Super Nintendo section, I'm gonna find a few things just at a glance that pique my interest to scan, like this uh, Mickey Mania here is one. Ooh, Super Punch-Out I know I've done well with before. Donkey Kong Country I sell all the time. Mortal Kombat 2, why not? Ooh, these combo packs are always interesting as well. Link to the Past is a possibility. Dang, there's actually all kinds of uh, potential in this section. I'm gonna go ahead and scan all of this off camera because I don't wanna bore you guys to tears and I'll let you know the results. Results. GameCube section, I have not forgotten you. So Ryan, I'm seeing you have a whole bunch of these like Donkey Kongs. How much are you wanting, are you interested in moving a good number of these? Cause, okay. Cause like a lot of them are priced around 30 and a lot of them I could probably be close to like, like 18 ish. Is that the right range? Okay, cool. Well, I'll put those on the stack then. All right, on these Mickey Manias, I could be at 10 a piece. Okay, on All Stars and Super Ghouls and Ghosts, those are both 30, I could be at 22. Yeah. Then I had five of the Donkey Kong Countries and the uh, sequels. And then I had a stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, $40 games like Punch Out, Yoshi's Island, and Mario Kart that I could be at 30 on. Yeah. Alrighty folks, we are batting a thousand right now. Folks, I'm getting really curious what our total is at this point. I have a feeling we're close to, if not at, thousand dollars but uh not sure yet ryan has gone ahead meanwhile and put out some games that he thinks i should double check so we're gonna go through and high five the ones that we already have checked and maybe see if we miss some stuff on this wall <laughs> like this uh shadow for example Oop. 
<laughs> high five, we, we checked that one. Ooh, these Smackdowns though, I definitely did not check. What is this? Victorious Boxers? I do not remember ever selling this game. Unfortunately, neither of those were really worth it. And I checked that guy, I checked Spider-Man. Ooh, I did not check this NCAA basketball though, I have to admit. This is one of those that if you find it at Goodwill, it will almost certainly be underpriced because it's a sports game, but it is worth around 50. Yeah, it looks like that's about what it goes for for me as well, so we'll pass on that guy. I mean, my offer on that would be really bad. I'm only getting like 40 after fees on it, so I mean, I, I could offer you 25, but I feel bad doing it. 30, um, for you I'll do 30. So you had 35 and 50 on Dragon Ball Z and Test Drive. I could be at 30 and 40. Okay. Anyone heard of this game before? Apparently a $60 Xbox game. Let's see if it goes for that on Amazon. What, what in the world? <laughs> Go home, Amazon. You are drunk today. I am not drunk. I could be at 25 if you want. Well, I'll take 25. Alrighty. Also for Dragon Ball Z, I know I can uh, 30 if that's of any interest. All right. Uh, 500 bucks. 500 bucks, folks, is what I started this business with in 2019. <laughs> kind of hard to believe. We've uh, we've come a long way since then. I could be at 15 on this family game night pack. All righty. Well, folks, the lone game that's worthwhile in the Wii section, 40 bucks on Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I could do 35 for this if we throw it in a Wii case. Okay, cool. And folks, finally, it is time to scan the GameCube games. Ooh. Wow, that's unexpected. Folks, all I have to say is, after all the talking up I've done of this section, really hope it comes through here for us. Oh yeah, Tarzan, Tarzan, Tarzan. Here's another solid one that should do well for me. Complete Street 2. This one's in super smooth condition too. You gotta love to see that. Ooh. 30 after fees, and I think I can get a little bit more than that. Okay, this one is a little bit interesting. Ryan, what did you have on this Street V3? There wasn't a sticker on it. 30 normally. Um, I could be at 20 if that's, okay. You guys know that point in the day where you've literally pulled off so many games from the shelf that your fingers are like visibly dirt. Oh, whoa. They're visibly, they're visibly dirty there. You guys are like, whoa, Phoenix Tree Sale. That's a little bit naughty. A little bit. <laughs> Keep your fingers to yourself, man. 15 bucks for Pac Man. 10 bucks a piece on these. Now that is a Frozone D or an Incredible. Dang it. And folks, now it's time for my personal favorite part of the entire day, the glass case, where we'll buy hopefully a decent number of high dollar items all at once and then figure out our total. Can I take a look at that sealed gravity rush there? And I know those uh, Tetrises, Mario's on the Game Boy in the back. Maybe that Zelda DX right there. Wario Land 3, maybe the Mario Bros Deluxe up there. Uh, Sonic Advance 2 and 3. I'm on a roll here, folks. This is gonna be fun. Uh, the Mario Kart, Super Circuits, Super Mario Advances. I think that'll be good for now, folks. I'm gonna go through these one by one and then update you once we have totals. Well, folks, we had a very successful little glass case negotiation. Everything here is going to be coming home with me, including <laughs> multiple stacks of uh, some duplicates here. These like first party Mario titles do really well for me. All of this totaled to, what was it? <clears throat> $762 just for what's on this counter alone. And actually, Ryan, I was Kind of had my eye on a couple of those dual color SPs. You had, okay, 125 on each of these. How cool is that though, folks? I, I don't see this colorway very often. And this one too, this, this is amazing. All right, what do you think your bottom line would be on these two bad boys? 
probably 90 a piece. 90 a piece. I think I'll go ahead and do that, folks. I'm very optimistic at this point we're gonna hit $1,000. Well, folks, Ryan just went full X Games mode and decided, I told him I couldn't offer really great on these. I can be at 50 bucks a piece. And he was like, you know what? I'll do that on three of them. So how about that little Game Boy Color nostalgia there? All right, folks. So after a whole afternoon of hunting and haggling, our grand total on everything purchased is Editor Rift, can I get a drum roll? $2,603, which is totally worth the afternoon. In terms of profit margins, you guys saw what we were working with. I would expect maybe a 50 or so percent return minus the stuff that we got from Monday's giveaways. If you like watching bulk deal videos like this, I highly recommend this playlist right down here of all my bulk deals ever. And I will catch you guys on the flip.